Hello everyone, welcome to HLP Hunt Talks. Today we are going to discuss about the VAT audit and the major non-compliances which is identified during the audit. Now, the important questions that every stakeholder should keep in the mind that are you really ready for the VAT audit in UAE? Have you done any trial audit before? It is very critical to ensure that our company comply with the VAT regulations to avoid any unforeseen business risks. As a prominent tax advisory firm, we HLP Hunt encountered a variety of challenges during the VAT audit and health check process. Today, we will walk you through a few of them. First one, non-availability of the accounting record. STA regulations mandate the compulsory maintenance of the books of accounts. However, several taxpayers fail to maintain adequate records. License-wise accounting is not maintained, trial balance mismatch, proper reconciliation is not maintained, and lack of tax coding in the system. Second, tax classification. This is one of the areas most of the taxpayers face difficulties due to the incorrect tax classification. Income term ignored for the designated zone transaction. Supply not reported based on the ownership. Wrong zero rated and out of scope classification. Tax not charged on the reimbursement of the expenses. Commission not taxed. Third, FTA audit file format. Authorities demand the audit information in a specified format within 10 days. After the audit notification, many of the taxpayers are unable to meet a deadline, mainly due to the FTA audit file is not ready and it is not available, invoice-wise detailed not available, receipt date not captured, entity-wise information not maintained. Fourth, documentation. All the transactions should be supported with the documents. And in many cases, taxpayers are not maintaining sufficient documents, which lead to heavy tax burden. Few of them are exit certificate and export document, declarations as mentioned in the law, payment certificate, agreement and policy, tax invoice as per the format mentioned in the authority, ownership documents. Fifth point, ineligible input VAT. Authorities taking a very strict approach while allowing the input credit and many taxpayers taking a leaner approach and which has resulted in disallowing such claims, like claimed VAT on dependent insurance, input claim not based on the receipt date, ineligible all the invoices claimed, non-availability of the proper tax invoice, vehicle-related expenses, and entertainment expenses. There are many other points, and I would like to give a few industry-specific non-compliances. First, Healthcare. All the three conditions as mentioned in a cabinet decision not followed while classifying the zero-rated category. The product must relate to basic and preventive healthcare services. The product must fall within the definition of the medication as prescribed under the cabinet decision 56 of 2017. The product must be registered by the Ministry of Health and Prevention. Second, transportation and logistics. Input VAT claimed on exempted supplies. VAT not charged on the local league of international transportation. Wrong annual worship and apportionment. Third, real estate. Wrong treatment of advance and retention. VAT declared without the ownership. Wrong tax classification. Transactional provision not followed properly. Fourth, sole establishments. Accounting records not maintained. Wrong legal status selected. Tax reported through other party and not registered with the tax authority, tax not paid on the advance received. So, complying with the VAT regulations is crucial to avoid hasty penalties. It is recommended to identify any potential compliance issues or discrepancies in VAT reporting before an official audit takes place. By conducting a trial audit, business can assess their level of risk exposure to potential penalties. To have more information, kindly contact us on BeLuLing and follow us on YouTube and LinkedIn. Tune in, learn, and stay ahead with HLP Hub. Thank you.